Well, we did it. We side quested for about an episode, got ourselves a fun new weapon, got ourselves a new mount of all things, basically. Basically. Yeah! Now let's see what I can do in the story. <laughs> there are just clouds of enemies around here. Oh, he doesn't go off ledges. Hi. Uh, seems like a problem down there. Alright, well, you enjoy your nap, I guess. We. Oh my goodness, they're everywhere. Oh my goodness, they're everywhere. Word obtained, ah, sure. Used with all categories. Physical defense plus two. Magic and weapons paralyzed. Ooh. Ow. Sidestep attack tutorial. Ow. Pain. Okay, we, uh, okay, sidestep, yes, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Hoda. Martial arts. Uh, knockback resistance was 4%. Cool. Oh my goodness. There's too much happening at once. All of a sudden, <laughs> diving to the middle of this horde of enemies it was apparently a mistake. Oh my goodness. Well, the weapon seems strong, that's for sure. We're, th we're thinning the herd. Come on. Ow. We're taking hits, but things are mostly okay. I can't pick up the herbs. There we go. All fixed up. Those are both items I can't pick up, apparently. Oh wait, just one of them? Yeah, just one. What do we got over here? Medicinal herb, but I can't... I can't... You know what you did. You herb grabber. <laughs> oh, lizard. Nope. Eh. Oh, do I just grab you? Oh, I just grab a tail. <laughs> and I apparently just rip its tail clean off its body. You know, like like sane people do. Cool, so we're uh, lizard torturers. I actually don't know if they really feel it or not. All I know is when they lose our tail, it's nasty because blood goes everywhere. It's not like it's just a fake tail that goes away. Like, it's part of their body. Yeah, hey, what's that? Look. Would that be the canine we're looking for? Oh no, the dog's dead. You must dispatch a nearby threat first. Oh, maybe it's alive. Maybe it'll be okay in a moment. After things resolve a bit. Come back here. Uh-oh. Come on. Just a few more hits. One down. Pain time. Ho ho. He looks like he's having a swell time in the air. So I can just beat through his, sh his shield eventually, right? Do I just hit him a lot? That's what the uh, previous pop-up said. Clear. Broken wristwatch. Alright. It's the missing dog. That old man is going to be pretty upset. Hey wait, I think the dog has something in its mouth. It's some kind of leaf. This is a rather dangerous location for leaf hu hunting. I wager this decision cost the animal its life. Well, the least we can do is bring the leaf back to the old man. Max's herbs. Well, we found him. It looks like we're too late. This is gonna be hard for that old timer. Okay, that was a bit of a tension break. Apparently you can jump in the water and drown. In other parts of the map I haven't been able to go in water, so that was a bit of a surprise. So, sad, sad news, dog's dead. Where am I, exactly? Where did I spawn? Somewhere else in the river? Whoa, yeah, actually like, relatively far away from where I fell in the water. Well, that's too bad. I'll do it on the way back, though. Let's press forward, since I'm sure I'll be going back to the town over and over again. I mean, I've, I've played up to ending A before, and while I don't remember crap from this game, I do remember going back to town a lot. So we can usually rely on that, I think. Maybe I'll look into our several new things we just got. First of all... There we go, it's, they're using Gebma. That's the magic power bonus and the item drop rate bonus. And how about my weapon? Same ones. Attack power and item drop rate. The other version is paralyzed level one. That could be really good. Let's see if that works out. Otherwise we have tutorials. Still haven't done a lot of these yet, but I'm curious about what I saw earlier, uh, evading? That's, yeah, right trigger is dodge. Where was the new one? Sidestepping. 
Hold left stick in the direction of an enemy and press right trigger to sidestep behind them. Press X the moment after sidestep for unique attack. So you can dodge, you can basically dodge through enemies, basically. Interesting, because I intuitively dodge away from them for obvious reasons. Let's try that ladder. <laughs> so that dog was pretty unavoidable as far as finding him goes, at least. Although I, I think you could have gone without getting the objective itself. I've got to try going right, right? Not an herb. Oh, I can't go that way. Never mind. Wow. Herbs for days. It's a good thing I didn't buy any of them with, with money, but I, I'm full up because I keep breaking boxes around town and they give me more, but... They were happy to give me, like, what, six of them on the way in? We were gonna be A-OK. -okay. Wow. Oh, wow, it's just a full supply. Are these boxes always gonna be here? I wonder if I can just come here whenever I need a, a refill on this specific item. Reliably. After all, they don't give you a fixed amount of health, it's 30%. Which is which means that even if I increase my health, which you presumably can, because it's an RPG, uh, it should still heal by the same percentage and always be equally as useful. Got some more silver, that stuff's worth 750. So even if I can't craft something with it, it's just worth a lot of money. Like half a mission's worth of money, so far. Pillars! What are they made of? They're pipes? Yeah, they're all, they're all pipes. Jacob, I'm hungry. I know, hold on. Maybe we have some old bread here. Hey. Oh, welcome. Please, come in. Yeah, just don't mind all of the horrifying sparking happening, really, in close proximity to humans. I've heard you're the guys to talk to if I wanted my, uh, want my weapon strengthened. You bet. I'm the finest smith in these parts, uh, usually. You see, my Jacob and I build items from scrap we find in the junk heap, but we're a little low on supplies at the moment. The junk heap? Well, that's just what we call it. Folks say it used to be a military base. I don't know about that, but there's lots of great stuff in there. It's not exactly the safest place in the world, but we gotta eat, you know? Where are your parents? Our Jacob... Uh, our Jacob... <laughs> Our father died when Gideon was very young, and Mom is... She's out right now, getting supplies. I'm sure she'll be... Mom's been gone for seven days. When's she coming back? That's a long time. It's getting harder and harder to find good scraps. She probably had to go deep into the heap. I'm so hungry! So as long as we bring you the materials, you can forge our weapons? Yeah, normally I'd go myself, but it's really dangerous in there right now, and so... No, no problem, we'll do it. You... you will? I need a new weapon. And besides, you need inventory for your shop, right? Well, yeah, but... It's settled then. What do you need? Well, to improve your weapon, I'll need... Th I need three titanium alloys. You can get them from the defense robots around the mountain. Got it. Here's a map of the complex. You're probably gonna need it. And just be careful, please. I... it's really gotten scary in there. I'll need to get three titanium alloys from you. Is mom back yet? Is she? So there's no vendor there. You can't use it as a shop yet. Like, I figured maybe not alloys, but you maybe would be able to buy something there, or... They'd be able to do anything at all, really? Guess not. Let's go ahead and update our save. Weirdly, you can only have three save slots. That's peculiar. I would like to have more than that, because I like to make one new save every every session. But I, I would like to have more than that. Hello. Rat tail. Matt's mouse tail. So unlike the uh, lizard, that mouse isn't much shittier situation as a result of me doing that. Lizards just grow their tails back, or at least a lot of them do. Maybe all of them? I don't know if it's all of them or not, but a lot of them do. To the point where it can be surprisingly easy to get a lizard to just lose its tail. They just sometimes just... It's like they freak out sometimes, just just get rid of them. 
Anything over here? Oh, I go in. I don't think mice can grow tails back, though. Or any mammals? Really? What is this, a shortcut? This must be like an elevator I can access later or something. Yeah, maybe when I get to the dungeon, and this will be the exit that leads le leads back out here. That classic uh, sort of Elder Scrolls dungeon design that's used in a lot of games, where it, it go it all it's all linear dungeon, but instead of making you run backwards to the dungeon, the exit it just points back to the entrance. That place looks crazy. My, it's bright in here. I guess the power source is still operational. Not that we'd have any idea how to use it. Ruins from ancient times patrolled for eons by unstoppable machines. And now we bust them up and take the parts. Well, yes, I did just jump, fail the jump, then start using the ladder, and then realize, oh yeah, I have a double jump. <laughs> Hi, angry robot. Can I use that thing? Really? I thought for sure I'd be able to use that. No? Alright. Ow! Rude. They're not too durable. Do they explode? Yes. The answer is yes. I can double jump this, right? Yeah. So I that was still be me to use the ladder. Ladders are for normal people. This door is broken and won't open. I'll break it harder. Oh, uh, no. Can't just wedge this thing in there. Oh, that one isn't broken. The momentum of your character is really funny to me. Especially the way he, like, slides when he tries to turn around sometimes. It appears to be shut off. Well, crap. Can I go down? Possibly. There's definitely another floor down there. I don't know if I'd be able to jump at it, though. It might just kill me. Or, more, re more likely, it probably won't let me jump at all. door is broken and won't open. They're all broken all the time. God damn, the music of this game is fantastic. I'll have to remember it for the every day, every game of 2017 video. <laughs> if Nier Automata doesn't take the slot. Hi. Nope. Oh, he rotates. Okay. Now. Rude. Rare items tutorial. I feel like I may know what that means already, honestly. They're like items, but less common. AKA rare. Oh, wow. Effective. They have a rough life. Wanna help? Yes, well, I suppose it's hardly suitable work for children. They both look pretty skinny. And the Elder has been giving his share of food to his brother, I'm sure of it. Ah! Under attack! Oh, that was a miss. Whoops. I was really confused for a second there, because he's talking about, like, they have a hard life and I want to help. As I'm executing robots, I'm like, they have lives and they're hard? And you're not talking- are you sure you're not talking- like, I didn't realize he was talking about the kids from way back a long time ago. Let's check that wall kick one, that's gotta be important. While near a wall in midair, press left stick and right trigger to perform a wall kick. Does that mean you can jump up walls? Whoa. So yes, no. So you can you can get off walls to do a trick to move quickly, but it's you don't you're not gonna go up the wall. We're not we're not talking about triangle kicks or anything where you're gonna go climbing up a wall like your strider or something. It's just it's just a fun like really fast dodge thing. It seems to have uh, it seems we've been shut in. This gonna be a gauntlet. Answers yes. Oh, that wasn't very nice. I think that was the sidestep, is me sort of, kind of sort of going around him for a bit. Was that it? Anyone else? Oh, we're still doing it. The 
high level magic seems to be paying off so far. Gotta wait for the exact moment where he becomes actually hostile, or it doesn't work. Yeah, there we go. Just avoid doing it that early because of the whole slow-mo thing. There we go. It's just safer over here because they have lightning attacks. And I don't want to waste my my incredibly plentiful medicinal herbs. You never will know and you might need one. <laughs> Wrong one. A broken antenna. Right now I'm just kind of going. They gave me a map, but I'm just kind of picking directions and running in them for now. Just to start us off. They go down fast. I wonder if it's specifically because of my weapon. I mean, it says 40% bonus magic, and I don't think my meter got any longer, so I assume it means that my magic power is higher. Oh, they all disappear quickly, too. That's frustrating a little bit. Let's see, magic. Do I have, like, a stat screen? Status. MP57. Yeah, magic attack is 42. Magic attack is 42. Okay. Uh, whatever percent magic means doesn't seem to, does not seem to be indicated here. Oh yeah, it does say magic power. That's probably magic attack. It's hard to say for sure what it means. But it's probably, it probably means that, and they're probably just being a little vague. Nope. Uh, that it probably just doesn't reflect the stat screen, which is probably just your raw stats as opposed to your post-item calculation stats or something. Ow. Just gonna clear this out. There we go. Items. Must not let items disappear. Ah, oh, I let them, them disappear. Damn, they disappear fast. This place is hardly befitting one of my grand stature. Oh, that was a titanium alloy. That was a titanium alloy, was that that yellow item I got. Do I have one already? Uh... It's probably in the raw materials menu. Looking for it. Titanium alloy, one. So that's the first one so far. The pop-up came up before, so I thought maybe we'd seen it before. Let's check that, uh, screen. Uh, tutorials. Rare items. In addition to normal items, some enemies will have ch Yep, that was useless. Words. You may occasionally obtain words from fallen enemies. Select word edit from the Grimoire Vice. You may assign the things to a things. They can add effects. So some of these are really... Im Holy crap, some of these are really pointless. Collecting materials. Items show up on maps. Yes, and you can pick them up with your hands. Thank you. Interactions. Press B to interact. Alright. I'll occasionally go through and go through more of those, but most of them are pretty useless so far. It's like, have you played a video game before? We assume not. This probably has another titanium alloy in it. It seems like they're all in dead ends. It seems we've been shut in. Oh. Come on out, buddy. Start pointing my way. There we go. Yay! Oh, item. Must get item. There we go. Hi, friend. None of that, please. Hey, got an item. Oh, forgot to aim with the right stick, so I was just shooting air. I like this. It's actually really, it has a really nice top-down camera angle for that. If you're setting it up correctly. I think you pretty much have to stop and manually aim it, though. I don't think you can just tap it, or weird. it goes in weird directions, mostly. Ah, oh, too early. But this works fine! <laughs> punish, punish, punish! Oh, two at once. Okay. I kind of ran into that one, didn't I? I kind of thought he, that the blowback would, would stop his attack. That was my mistake. Items. Oh, they're on both sides now. Hi. 
friend. Give me my MP. There we go. I'm eating your attacks for my own. Oh. Well, that wasn't very nice. Item. Uh, cool. That ought to be enough. I just got three? I guess so, yeah. Let's see. I should have... Oh no, I only have three. So I must have picked up two just now and, only, and already had one from earlier. I think, this, I think they're just setting up the idea that this is where you can go to farm titanium, titanium alloy for the rest of the game. And they do it, they have it for one mandatory quest, but for the rest of the game I can keep coming here. May as well check out some alternate paths just to see if there's any surprises. Hi! Oh god. Getting prepped. That's really satisfying to take out the entire hallway of enemies at once. Did I get all the items? Yep. Hi. Crap. I went too early. It didn't really feel like waiting. Friend! No. Bad friend. Bad friend. Bad friend. Bad friend. <laughs> it's so effective just to shoot them from here slowly. Oh, but, oh, he actually blew up. Crap. My bad. I thought I had, I thought I had enough time to get in and get out. And I was wrong. Go fast. Hi there. So nice of you guys to get supply me with so many pieces of useless junk. Like broken antennas and depression. Everyone gone? Cool. Let's check out the map. I've gone this way, that way. There's a few closed off paths. I guess that that area in the that's in the room that's almost touching mine is probably the last place I haven't been yet. Probably. But there's like grayed out area chunks of map everywhere that seem to indicate that I'd that I could get there if I figured out how to get past these doors or something. Maybe at some point I'll gain access to these other floors. Since there's clearly other floors around, and even, even an elevator that seems like it'd go somewhere. Don't think I've been here yet. Or that's- or that- or this is where- how I got here. Is this how I got here? Now this is different, isn't it? Oh, this is the elevator I couldn't use. It appears to be shut off. I wouldn't be surprised if that connects to the top area, and then maybe... Uh... Maybe as I get to different parts of the dungeon, I can get to different chunks of the elevator and, like, have it all unlocked unlock so they all connect to each other. And then eventually, of course, uh, have one take me to the surface. But I am making so much assumption right now. I love how fast your character moves in this game. It doesn't feel like it's wasting your time with, like, a slow run cycle over giant empty rooms. Because you just, you just dash from room to room in a moment. Was that- was that mouse? Mouse! Give me your tail! I think we're two and two now. On mouse and lizard tails, and I need five overall. Of each. Three! Take that, mouse. I need your tail. I need to hear Popola sing, so you need to die. Or be disfigured. Yay. Wah! I'm lonely. I want to find mom. Hello again? We got your materials. Ah, thank you very much. I'll level your weapon up right away. Normally I charge for this, but you can have this one for free. Do I get to pick? Weapon- which weapon- of which one? <laughs> the one I'm using right now, I hope? Forging weapons. You can strengthen your weapons by bringing the required materials to Two Brothers Weaponry at the Junk Heap, paying a fee. Here you go. And thanks again. This ought to keep us going for a while longer. Mom! What's wrong now? I'm sorry, he's just impatient. He thinks we should go look for Mom. We just need to wait, okay? She'll be back soon. Mom! Vice. Yes, yes, I know. We're off to search for the misplaced mother, aren't we? Please, no. I already owe you far more than I could ever repay. Save it. I don't care. 
You don't understand. Our mother is... Yes. Never mind. Mom always... Mom usually went pretty deep inside the mountain. I think she used uh, the elevator a lot, so I better give you the activation code. Hey! Now we have that access. Mom usually took the elevator down. The robots in the lower levels are pretty strong, so be careful. Oh, also... I'm ready to strengthen your weapons. Uh, your weapon anytime. Buy and sell items? What, is, what, what can you buy from him? What if you could just buy titanium from him? Co totally contradicting everything. So he sells all, well, most of the ores and some of the stuff you can farm from enemy. Whoa! Dented metal boards, boards cost seven fifty. What do they sell for? That's what I'm wondering. Because apparently I have twenty eight of them already. They sell for one fifty. So how much do I have just in this one item type? Oopsie. Oh, I can go back. I can press left. I have over four grand worth of dented metal boards already from that dungeon. So, money builds up fast, by the standards of our of the actual prices we've seen so far, at least. So they don't sell any new weapons. You do have to upgrade your existing ones. Let's look at that then, forging. No, he leveled up the Nameless Blade, and it only made it go from 100 to 112. But I wanted to level up Beast Bane. Now I need... A complex machine and 12 iron ore. Huh. That must be a rare drop. I don't have anything for that for Moonrise. Well, he used he used he used up my titanium alloy to upgrade a weapon without asking me which one I wanted, unfortunately. But apparently it's not even a requirement for the weapon I'm using right now. I need a complex machine. Which might be a little hard to find, but and I need iron ore, which is probably not hard to find at all. I sold some of it. I sold two of it earlier because I was like, "Ah, oh, it's something I see on the ground everywhere." But let's let's check for reference how much it costs for him. It's a thousand each for him. Wow. So you pay out the nose for iron ore. So definitely want to go find it on my own. And he does not sell a complex machine, so I'm gonna have to go find that on my own if I want to continue. That's fine. Back in the dungeon we go after a quick save. Let's do that. And we are good to go. Right after I kill all the lizards. Is there another mouse around here? I've got my eyes on you guys. No, I don't see anything. We have to be getting close though. I think we have three mice and two lizards and I need five of each. So we'll see if I get lucky enough to just grab them all while I'm running around here. So this isn't what I just got access to? It looks like an elevator. That's an elevator panel, right? Weird. Maybe I have to go get to it first, and then maybe it'll unlock after that point. It's freaky how this whole place just has pipes sticking out of the ground, and they're all they're all steaming and stuff. That's a that's a really fr crazy like fantasy, like an urban fantasy visual thing. The effect is she neat. Said she'd be deep inside the mountain, right? If I may ask, what is it that possesses you to meddle in their affairs? Growing up without parents is tough. I just want to help however I can. Honestly, in the last cutscene, it kind of in the last conversation, it kind of feel, felt like uh, Vice was on the same page. Oh, that sound! The soundtrack right now, I love it. Was this an elevator? Yeah, there we go. All right, basement one, it is. I love the soundtrack of this game. <laughs> it's like a remix of a Simon Says crossed with spoon percussion. <laughs> like, I don't even know what I'm listening to. Bye. Well, we're gonna be making, making fast progress with these kinds of abilities. Oh, I should have saved that spear attack for when all these guys were in a room together. Oh, crap. Hi, everyone. Nice to meet you. Ow. Must grab items before disappear. We got we got another titanium alloy already. No, nothing. Yes. They're just dented metal boards everywhere though. Oh! There's a bad guy. 
Got it. Oh my goodness. There's so many of them in one spot together. Everyone blow up so I can grab your items. Must grab them all before they disappear. Oh. There we go. It's a kind of a nasty cross-section between enemies that, uh, that disappear... Uh, items that disappear after death and enemies that blow up moments after death. It's like, ah, uh, kind of want to thread the needle and not deal with one while grabbing the other one and hope things work out. Ah, hi. Oh. Well, that was unexpected. Did I do it? I think I did it. Is there a door back here? It's broken. Yeah, it's probably also broken. This door is broken and will not open. Breakable fences. Some barriers can be destroyed with explosives. Bombs? Pick them up and with B and throw them with B. Okay. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's beeping at me. Well, that's what we're doing now. That goes somewhere, and this side does not. This door is broken and it will not open. Hi. Must destroy all boxes. Okay, anything here? I keep wanting to interact with those things. But I don't think you can do anything. I think I think they just indicate whether or not a door will open, period. Oh, we're about to go dual stick, aren't we? Mind cards. Use right stick to change the direction of your magical attacks while riding a mine cart. Also, the speed of the mine cart can be increased by moving the forward end and decreasing by moving, moving towards the back end. Okay. So go this way to speed up, this way to go slow down. Well, here we go. This will be interesting. That's better. Top down's happening. And we're clear. Oops, took a little bit of a hit there. I should be using these as a chance to regenerate my abilities. Well, I'm not destroying all of them now, for sure. There's too many of them. Crap. Oh, hi, everyone. If you could leave politely, I wouldn't mind. Nope. I think I'm hitting things from off camera because these homing attacks. You can, yeah, I, I should try slowing down a little bit more if I wanted to get more hit, more kills. Let's see how fast I can go. You guys can't catch me. Actually, I kind of want the experience. Oh, those are just shoot out more enemies. Okay. I thought those were going to be cannons. It may pay to go slow a little bit just to deal with the sheer number of enemies coming my way. Even like combo and magic charging tutorial. Uh, there's a lot going on right now. Oh, they, they also attack you with melee lightning. Why not? Why not? Melee attacks! You've made a terrible mistake this day. I like the perspective changes they keep using in these games. It kind of recontextualizes individual combat scenarios in a neat way while adding more variety to general gameplay. So you don't just move to the front or back of the cart, you have to be actively walking into the front or back to make it have the slower, fast effect happen. Definitely want to unlock a shortcut of some kind, because having to ride that cart every time would be kind of a bummer. Although, maybe they stay dead. I doubt it. Howdy, friends. Oh, goodness. There we go. Ah, ah, oh, hi. Thankfully, those go down quickly. Goodbye. Problem dealt with. Ah, we need bombs. Hello, bombs. You live there now. Enjoy. I assume you also won broken. <laughs> I, I assume you also won't broken. Good job, words. I. Oh, I assume you also want open, is what I meant to say, obviously. Oh, shit. He, did, he will not automatically throw it. You do have to be pressing the direction in that moment. I was trying not to walk off the ledge, obviously. Yeah! Oh, it kind of homes in on the, on the goal. I feel like falling is bad here. Huh? 
Huh? Uh-oh. Oh, right. I have, like, an air dash. Okay. That's what I need to do to proceed here. Oh. Works a lot better if you actually jump. There we go. Who can't possibly believe that the mother managed to fight her way down here? Don't be a naysayer. Or, for that matter, that she has been collecting scrap metal for a solid week. Open your eyes, fool. The woman is clearly... Maybe she eats scrap metal like that one class in Hand of Fate. You can't tell me otherwise. That's enough vice. <laughs> Those kids are in a bad way. Maybe they just need a miracle. Miracles? <laughs> Well, thank you, oddly conspicuous factory mailbox or something. Uh, this does look like a, like it's gonna be some kind of boss fight. <laughs>